Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, simple electric logo reveal animation in After Effects, with use of Saba plugin, so without any wait, let's see the preview. To perform this tutorial you need Saba plugin, so before you begin with this tutorial, make sure you have installed it. If you haven't installed yet, then you can download it from the link given in the description. You can see, here I have already imported my logo, and the flare media file require for our text or slogan reveal, you can download it from the link in the description. So now let's start creating our electric logo reveal intro. So let's begin with creating a new composition. Let's name it as logo animation. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Let's set the time duration to 6 seconds. Perfect. Now let's first create a background layer. Create a new solid. Name it as background. Now in effects and preset. Search for ramp. Add it to the solid background layer. Now you need to change the start and end color, as shown. Here you can also set any color you want for your background. Now change ramp shape to radial ramp. Change ramp scatter value to 300. Perfect. Now let's again create a new solid layer. Name it as noise. Now in effects and preset. Search for fractal noise. Now add fractal noise to noise solid layer. For fractal noise, change brightness value to minus 20. Now make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now in transform, create a keyframe for offset turbulence. Now at end of the timeline. Change position of offset turbulent is shown. Perfect. Now you can see the preview. Now press Alt key, and click on the stopwatch of evolution. This will open the expression. Now enter expression time 100. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now select the ellipse tool. Now draw mask over noise layer, as shown. Perfect. Now for mask 1. Change mask feather value to near about 300. Now set mask expansion value to minus 20. Now let's pre-compose the noise layer. Name it as noise. Now for noise composition. Change mode to overlay. Now for noise composition, press T to bring up the opacity, now change opacity value to 75%. Now let's add our logo to the timeline. 
You can scale your logo if needed. Here I will slightly scale my logo. Now let's pre-compose the logo. Name it as logo. Now for logo composition. Now go to layer, now select auto trace. Make sure apply to a new layer is not selected. Now you can see our logo is auto traced, you can also draw mask by using pen tool. Now for logo composition. Go to effects, from video copilot, select Seba. Now for Seba, change preset to electric. Now in customize core, change core type to layer mask. Perfect. Now for Seba, change glow intensity to 60%. Now change glow speed to 0.06. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for start size. Change start size to 0%. Now at 1 second. Change start size to 100%. Press U to view created keyframes. Now at 2 seconds. Create a keyframe for start size. Now at 3 seconds. Change start size to 0%. Now at start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for start offset. Change start offset value to 100%. Now at 3 seconds. Change start offset value to 0%. Now change end size value to 0%. Now at 1 second. Create a keyframe for end offset. Now at 4 seconds. Change end offset value to 0%. Now in distortion. Glow distortion. Now change distortion amount to 10. Change distortion type to energy. Now in render setting. Change composition setting to transparent. Now change the alpha mode to mask core. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a duplicate of Saber effect. Press Ctrl plus T to create duplicate. Now press U to view created keyframes. Now we need to shift the position by 10 frames for all created keyframes for Saber 2. Now select all created keyframes of Saber 2. Now adjust the position as shown. Now for Saba 2. Change composition setting to add. Now again create a duplicate of Saba. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now press U to view created keyframes. Now we need to shift the position by 10 frames for all created keyframes for Sabbath 3. Now select all created keyframes of Sabbath 3. Now adjust the position as shown. Now again create a duplicate of Sabbath. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now press U to view created keyframes. For Sabbath 4. Change start offset value to 0. Now change end keyframe value to 100. Now change end offset, keyframe value to 0. 
Now change and keyframe value to 100. Now for Sabbath 3, change preset to energize. Now, here you can change the glow color. Now change distortion type to energy. Now change distortion amount to 9. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now add logo composition to the timeline. Now add 3 seconds. Press T to bring up the opacity. Now create a keyframe for opacity. Now at 2 seconds. Change opacity value to 0%. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now for below logo layer. Change parent to logo composition 1. Now for above logo composition. Press P to bring up the position. Now let's slightly adjust the position for logo composition. Perfect. Now let's add our text. Let's position it below the logo. Now in effects and preset. Search for trite tone. Now add it to the text layer. You can also add tint or amp effect to the text layer. Now let's adjust the tritone color. Now for text layer. Select rectangle tool. Now draw mask for text as shown. Now for mask one. At one second. Create a keyframe for mask path. Now at start of the timeline. Adjust the mask path as shown. Perfect. Now slightly adjust the mask feather. Now let's pre-compose the text layer. Name it as text. Now let's position the text layer at 2 seconds and 15 frames. Now add the flare media file to the timeline. Now for media file change mode to screen. Now position it at 2 seconds and 15 frames. Now add dry tone effect to the flare media file. Now adjust the midtone color.
Now let's adjust the position for Flare Media File. Perfect. Now let's create a duplicate of Flare Media File. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Mirror. Now add it to Flare Media File. Now let's set the Reflection Center. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as frame. Now draw mask as shown. Now for mask 1, change mode to subtract. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our simple electric logo animation tutorial is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.